Here we are. It's Christine with That So Vegas TV, and I'm here with Rick Radcliffe, who just assured us that the Internet cannot crash as a whole, which is nice to know. Parts of it can crash, yeah, right? Or, yeah, yeah. And he depends on got, where you shut it off. Being as brilliant as he is, even he got hacked at some point, but you kind of respected the guy who did it, right? Yeah. You know, it's like, I guess, when I write a novel, I'm, of course, they're a lot more, more better. That's a good way to put it, better. Yeah. You respect the person who did it. So, well, what was your, you know, everybody has a story. We all have stories. So when you first really got, like, and again, I wish I had his resume here for you to see it. Well, you've had, like, Canon, Toshiba, Rockwell, so many others that you've worked with, you know, on different projects and stuff. But when your very first real job out of college and everything, what was the best and the worst thing to happen? Oh, wow. Um, just That would be uh, flash tax. They were... Per recently purchased by Beneficial Finance, so it was a Fortune 500 company, uh -huh. and they did, uh, originally he did uh, electronic filing, and uh, they had just purchased uh, a tax program from Matthew Bender, <laughs> and if you know taxes, <laughs> Matthew Bender oh makes uh, tax books, and they had developed a software program to do tax returns and then sold that software to flash tax. And my uh, job was to integrate that into the company, uh, you know, look and feel of things. And I eventually took over the tax product. So, you know, for two and a half years or so, I did nothing but work with three CPAs and talk taxes all day long. I so I can hurts. still like to this day, I still do my own taxes even wow. for my corporation and even that it's amazing how that's developed the you know because now they're advertising all over tv and everything the turbo tax turbo tax which i believe uh, used to be what we called cch computax they were wow. at the time they were our main competitor in the business and they ended up becoming the huge corporation which put tax uh tax software in in our hands like me and you as a, as a person whereas at the time when I was working on the software uh, the target audience was accountants you and okay. I couldn't even buy that software unless you were a CPA well that's amazing again the, the that was internet, back in DOS uh, before DOS, Windows yes I kind of right. I had it I didn't know what it was <laughs> beats having a venereal yeah. disease or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had DOS I didn't know what it was three letter word I can't believe yeah. you said that but anyway um, so you're again you're, again I love your resume when you had sent it to me i'm going oh page one i went oh page two page three seven um you were telling a funny story on break uh, about an incident that i can really relate to it tell us about the tuba it has nothing oh, to do oh my with it. that was actually while i was in college um about halfway through college i decided i was going to stop cooking donuts for winchell's and start applying it. my education to my career and i took a job at a little family-owned company uh that was what it, <laughs> it was it's been a while you're okay just uh, carry on it was a uh, time scan time scan out of uh, california san dimas and uh the owner of the company his name was uh, wally stelmack he his wife was the office manager and her brother was the salesman and mm, family, he was family. he was brilliant he he uh, worked in the labor standard business for uh for for the warehouses and the grocery stores and you know at the time you know when you would get an order for a ralph's store they would submit an order you know i need 10 cases of beer and four cases of walnuts or whatever purchase order yeah a purchase order they would have ralph's had a main warehouse where they stored everything and they would hand uh, to the union guy you know he would have to run all around the warehouse finding things and, and packaging. And this really isn't that was long totally ago. Un no, no. I this mean, was amazing. only so, about, yes. well, it was about 30 years ago. Yeah, but, but still. But it wasn't, it's like it wasn't a, like 100 years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he, uh, you know, identified where all the products were and took a stopwatch and see how long it took him to reach up and grab one unit and grab multiples. And, mm. and then when they would do the order, they'd actually print off the order and tell the guy where to go so that he would actually start at the cage and then go to the first aisle and go up and down each aisle once. How time consuming can you imagine? I mean, well, today with the population explosion. Do you know, and just everything? just in order to make that software something that they would use, Ralph's and the other companies had to fight with the unions just to do this no kidding. because they were putting a time standard on it and saying it's going to take you 22 minutes to wrap this pallet. 
and the only way the unions would even agree to it is if they <laughs> is if they said well you have like 10 percent over the time and then you could gar start getting reprimanded but if you were doing 10 percent under or 20 percent under the time you started getting incentive pay so the you got guys running through the warehouse to pack you. the orders but here you're you talking come. 1988 you had guys working in the warehouse, picking orders, making sixty, eighty thousand dollars a year. Wow. That was big money sure, back, back then. then. So then you came along and you helped with the. the I actually developed a sanitation program, which followed the same model, but it was for the sanitation department to clean the aisles. Right, but where'd the tube come in now? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was. Uh, that's a. That's cute that's story. a funny little story. Yeah, I, uh, we like them. The the day. The day would go uh, each day. I was working there part time in college, and uh, Wally had three or four granddaughters, and one of his granddaughters uh, would come in in the afternoon and go into Richard's office, the salesman. And one day she just started practicing her tuba. Oh, and, and I mean, uh, of all of all of instruments. All, of, I mean, it couldn't have been couldn't a flute have been bass or, something, or you, you know, know a guitar or something. Cello. It was a tuba. A tuba. Oh, and all of a sudden I hear the tuba uh, going and I'm sitting like literally in the next room trying, trying to, to do this complicated software uh, I'm writing and I look over at his wife who's the office manager and I'm like Really? <laughs> Do we have to? Really? I know. I was saying I can't stand when my dog barks at the UPS guy when I'm working on my computer or like trying to put this show together or something when I'm focused yeah. on something. You know, that br brings to mind something interesting, which I know you're very capable of doing, is that uh, your, your process there and everything, really, you can help a person here or anywhere improve their business efficiency. I mean, isn't that what you oh, yeah. do? You build a codes into or you're looking at the business overall and how to improve yeah. its function so you're not just typing in code for them to um, uh, make their computer go faster I guess is well, what generally I'm trying to say. I my thing is custom software. A lot of companies come to me and want custom software. Yes. And uh, a friend of mine who I play golf with every week uh, when I lived in Painted Desert um, started to work for a small company, did a route here in town. And he asked me one day if I could develop them a player tracking system. So Player tracking for the casino? For the casinos. For the casino? You know the card okay. system yeah, yeah, where yeah, it keeps yeah, track yeah, of yes. points and stuff. But yeah. a large part of that is keeping track of the money, reading the meters off the machine, and keeping track of how much money you pull out of the machine, and week to week how it works. And pretty much all the companies in town that have software for this, they all do things the same way. And and uh, so I went with him. Where, I, where I'm a little bit different maybe than your average consultant, mm. I uh, went with him to a bar and I watched him do what they call a drop. And he went to the machines and, you know, the first thing he does is press a button to start printing the receipt, which reads all the meters from the machines, starts printing this really long receipt with all the different meters. And then he starts collecting the money out of the machines. And uh, the first thing I said to him is, you got four people playing right now those numbers are inaccurate as soon as you print that machine yeah. right so he says yeah but it's it just has to be close so when I wrote his software I actually did it a little bit differently that so when you started to drop you press a button and send a little message to all the machines say hey I'm starting to drop interesting and then when you actually went over to that machine and pulled the cash box out that actually had a message that it would trigger the slot machine would say I pulled the pulled the cash box out and at that point I would actually read the meters and then report those up to the server and then when all 15 machines have reported or you stopped the drop because it could be that somebody's sitting there gambling right and you're not going to tell them to move so if they're sitting there gambling through your whole drop then you actually just leave and then next week you come by so you had to keep track of oh I didn't read the meters last week I got to read them this week got and it. keep track of it for that's many amazing weeks. so right. you're, you're so really I made that real accurate exactly so again you're helping people with that's their Taylor that's Taylor, Taylor making we software, like that right? yes if I had a business I'd want you to tailor make well so, yeah. we'll talk about that I have a website that desperately needs some help here 
zippity do. Here goes another segment. Can you believe it? it <laughs> we still have fast. more to cover, but we will be back, folks, in just about five minutes. And, Not a lot uh, of chance to be nervous. So. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to roll with the punches. Okay, a shout out to the Red Roof Inn on Paradise, my sponsor. Stay tuned. We have one more segment left, and you're not going to want to miss it. Bye.